In Creo Parametric, you will occasionally find some legacy commands in the interface. For example, if I go to the datum overflow menu in part mode, at the bottom of the menu, you can see commands for offset planes and default coordinate system. And the weird thing is, these commands aren't even documented in the help section, but their use is fairly self-explanatory. Why would we need to use them though? Well, these legacy commands are used for dealing with legacy models. Here I have a part model open, and this is a really old part. If you take a look in the model tree, you'll see that the first feature is this feature called first feature ID. And creating first features was a method of building features so that it would have no references, not even to default datum planes or a default coordinate system. It's a really old method. It must be from the early or maybe mid 90s. It predates my time using Pro Engineer. And so if I have this feature and then go to edit definition, let me zoom back in. Here you can see that we have the modern ribbon interface. There is an internal sketch. If I go to the edit command, you'll notice that sketch setup isn't even available. Back then you used to be able to create a first feature, but just by sketching anywhere and it wasn't located with respect to any references. And that was the point of it. Anyhow, let me cancel out of here and then cancel out of the extrude feature. If you take a look in the graphics area, you can see a datum plane. That is the only datum plane in this model, and it was created after the first feature. There are no coordinate systems. So if you created a model back in the day, using this first feature method, sometimes you would need to go back and get some default datums for creating other features. So that's why you have these commands down here at the bottom. If I go to default coordinate system and click on it, hey, there you can see now we have CS0 available to us and it is in the graphics area. Let me turn off the spin center. So now you can see the default coordinate system that was created in the model. And if you try to reorder it, you'll notice that you can only go as back as right after the first feature. So that's what the default coordinate system gives you. Also from the datum overflow, you'll notice that we have this offset planes command. And when I click on it, first thing it's going to do is create another default coordinate system that you can see at the bottom of the model tree. And now we have the message information window prompting us to offset a value in the X direction. So you could actually enter in a numeric value or you could accept zero. Now we have the Y direction, you can accept zero again, and then Z direction. And so this is a way of getting sort of some default datum planes for use with other features. And similarly, if I grab these different features and then drag them up, well again, I can't go before the first feature. I can go before that default coordinate system that I created, but I can't go before the first feature. So that's what some of those legacy commands for offset planes and default coordinate system are used for. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.